Right, a very different vibe altogether in the studio right now, and wow, Ashta, I'm so dancing right now, doll. How are you doing? How are you doing? I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> I am 100. I mean, I'm already in the in my dancing shoes. Look, I mean, December at opera, but look at us. You're getting us back in that mood. Ah, uh, who says it has to be over? <laughs> uh, so this is December 2.0 This is the new year You should also jive in the new year You should also uh, feel, bring in that energy uh, Okay, year. okay <laughs> I feel you, I understand exactly what you're talking about But, uh, well A very good morning to you, young madam How are you? Good morning to you too mm -hmm. I'm fine, thank you It's great to be in Zimbabwe <laughs> <laughs> Alright, good million dollar question But before, 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 before I ask the question Natasha Zembe it's good to have you back home in Zimbabwe from Poland, all the way from Warsaw, Poland, yeah? Yes, all the way from Warsaw, Poland. Mm -hmm. I work and stay there. All right. <laughs> so, Natasha, who is Natasha? Hesh, Natasha. Natasha is this girl who was born in Blawayo mm -hmm. and is just this shy girl, nice, introverted girl. And, you know, I've been traveling around, you know, the countries. I mm -hmm. lived in Botswana for some time, mm -hmm. lived in South Africa for some time. Mm -hmm. I also came here and lived here in Harare for some time. This is where I started music here. Wow. <laughs> and then, yeah, mm -hmm. so then now I'm based in Poland. All right. So we listened to your song called Ayeye and it's a and it's it's a banging. It is like wow, okay. <laughs> and when I look at you and then I listen to your voice, it's like a whole different person altogether. Like two I, different personalities. Did you have to like work through that you know, through throughout the years for you to be where you are today? Well, I was born like this, you know. I Energy. have I've always had many personalities within me, mm -hmm. you know. Um, like I said, I'm a shy person. Mm -hmm. But when you get to know me you just know that ah <laughs> no no shy copia, you know, stuff like that. So <laughs> so yeah, I've got so many personalities. Yeah. All right. So let's talk about the birth of Ashta Ears. Because um there is Natasha, but then there's Ashta Ears. Um, people like to call it your alter ego. You know, most people call it alter egos. You know, Nicki Minaj has that. Beyonce has that. Uh -huh. And <laughs> there's you. Your alter. Ego. Oh, with me, Fari Jewel is my alter ego. So yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so yeah. So actually, is is my definitely my alter ego. So like I said, I have many personalities. So the other personality is Ashta is. You see, mm -hmm. <laughs> and so you get the Natasha, the shy girl, the quiet, reserved girl. You know, wants yeah. to be on her own. And then you get Ashta Easy there, you know, like mm -hmm. <laughs> just bubbly, very clumsy, wow. very entertaining, uh -huh. and loves people and talking to people, you know. <laughs> <laughs> now that's crazy. So, Natasha, um, take us back to where it all began. You know, you said you're a performing artist and you also sing, you also dance and you do all that at once, you know. And your journey from being um, from Vlao, you're coming to Harare, then from Harare, journeying to Botswana and then South Africa, now Poland. We want to go back to where it began. I mean, Classic 2 to 3 is about going back, back in the day, back. in the time machine. Wow. According mm -hmm. to my memory. <laughs> it's all good. So when I was a little kid... Mm -hmm. I remember myself on the stage at KTV. There was a big channel named KTV Bagara. Yeah. Kupotswana. So they put me on this Grand Palm Hotel show and I danced mm -hmm. and I loved it. Wow. So from that day, then I was like, hey, what's me? What is this? I love this. Uh -huh. So, but then, you know, long back because of research and all that, we didn't know that, oh, you, actually, you can actually make this as a career. You can actually do this. Yeah. You can actually use your talent and grow it. That's crazy. So, yeah. I know. So, yeah. So I just continued just, you know, dancing. It started with dancing. I was mm -hmm. dancing in competitions, just winning apple, winning him, bubble, winning mad apple, chi. Mm -hmm. You're dancing in front of the school and stuff. I also used to do some shows for Westridge. I went to Westridge High. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, yeah, and then, um, so, yeah, so that was my time growing up. But mm -hmm. then I then moved to South Africa. Mm -hmm. 
and I had to do the squad of guys. Yeah, you know, you know you that were, it's it's important though. Mm -hmm. Long back, you mm -hmm. think oh, it's not important, but mm -hmm. yeah, now I realize that it is important. So from there, that's when it started. Like I was kind of like mm -hmm. making music. Mm -hmm. But I was making music near Skype mic. You come in PC card. <laughs> Mm -hmm. <laughs> South Africans are more like, no, we also want to upcome Dara, you know. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I even remember even meeting AKA Kudara, she did you know, and she inspiring us, telling us, hey, you know, you know, you, you can do this, you can do that. No. You know, I'm also, I also want to be big, Kudara. Yeah. So, yeah, so those May were the days. Peace, hey? May so the rest in peace. Mm -hmm. And then, so then I graduated mm -hmm. and then I moved back to Harare. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. 2018 that's when i started i was like okay, let me try to do this mm -hmm. what should i do i started mm -hmm. researching how to become a musician how to become an artist how to become how to do everything because i didn't mm -hmm. know there's no like information people mm -hmm. don't tell you people no, don't know. what to do but you know online does tell you what that's to do true. so mm -hmm. that's how i started mm -hmm. then i started posting videos of myself dancing uh -huh. mm, also my challenges yeah that's how i was featured in achilles oh. and Mara brown's video mm -hmm. and i also won a challenge at japres and she tamba my videos like music yeah <laughs> 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 wow so yeah so that's how it started then i was also used to dance like even from i think newer hood yes also mm -hmm. and yeah so then i also um uh, performed uh, we opened a show for mr easy and amara wow with john cole and his team mm -hmm. and yeah from there life happened you know wow. things happen uh -huh. <laughs> so life happened and it was a bit difficult for me mm -hmm. so i decided to Go outside the country and look for a job. <laughs> okay. So what about your your parents and the support? Because when a child which one actually jive at a stage, you know, maybe what's she gonna turn out to be? I mean we're black at the end of the day, we're Africans. <laughs> and you'd be thinking, you what sort of future is this? How is the support? Siblings and your parents as well. Okay, at first it was like okay what is this okay okay fine mm -hmm. is this what you like but tangawa pay such cool and then also to tell wake type mm -hmm. of thing at mm -hmm. first i didn't understand it but yeah you know but it actually helps it actually it makes you understand like now i understand why you know mm -hmm. because you know with the economy and everything we look at everything around us so you know with our parents they didn't grow up the same ways as we grew up you know so now it's like different now you can people are like there's a lot of information there's oh you can actually go there you can actually do this you know so mm -hmm. so now only now they're accepting that yeah you know mm -hmm. at least <laughs> they're cheering right now so uh -huh. it's great interesting and what about your your siblings I mean, usually parents, when they when they become a bit lenient with the, with the other, they expect everybody else to, to have that leniency, you know. But why Asha? Why Natasha? Why is she getting a leniency, you know? Well, I don't think it's like that, hey. <laughs> you, I, you, you know, with me, I'm even thinking that, no, my siblings were treated more better, more well, they were more spoiled than me, and me, I didn't even oh. have this and that. No, mm -hmm. it's actually like not like that, you know. And you know, it's not easy to parent. You know, parents mm -hmm. they try their best to give mm -hmm. love to everybody their mm -hmm. own way. Well, with my siblings, well, I have a young brother. He's based in the UK. He's also a rapper. Whoa! <laughs> yes, creativity. He's a rapper. He's, a rapper. <laughs> he's coming. You see oh, me, okay. the sister. Okay, so me too. I'm coming I'm out. I'm doing this. So I'm coming out. <laughs> I also have an older brother. He's based mm -hmm. in America, but mm -hmm. he's he's totally different mm -hmm, he's, he's not chilled. in the limelight mm -hmm. and all that he wants to hide <laughs> he's always <in> that one <laughs> mm. so yeah so that's how it has been with siblings yeah interesting now take us to poland in warsaw well there's somebody who asked like good vibes from the young lady uh, from observation most zimbabweans in poland are in lublin or is it in poland i don't know <laughs> okay 
-hmm. So Poland is a country. Mm -hmm. Lublin is a city. Mm -hmm. And this city, Lublin, it's got universities. A lot of mm -hmm. uh, nursing colleges, nursing mm -hmm. universities. Mm -hmm. So this is why there's a whole number of Zimbabweans there because there's mm -hmm. a lot of people studying nursing in Togo. Okay. And we call it the city of Harare. <laughs> oh my God. I guess I shall make you say shit. <laughs> Well, it's all good. <laughs> Just, yeah. All right. Now take us to Warsaw. Uh, at war in Warsaw in um in Poland. What do you do? And then your journey as well to becoming, you know, um Ash to ease as well. Because you came from, you know, other cities and now there's a different a whole different country that doesn't um have you know the way we Africans dance. This is Europe and this is Eastern Europe to make matters worse. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, uh, when I before I went there, people here in Zimbabwe know me. They were like telling me, "Hey, what's up? What's up? This season? Hey, go around go here. Hey, it's a he. I'm not on my team. I hate chichi chichi. And it's a poor country. It's a what? Mm -hmm. Until I went there, I'm like, ah, I don't know tell you so man. I don't know what I mean. But that's how I never walk to you. You know, they're already saying all these things. But so no, kind. it's actually. Mm -hmm not like that it's mm -hmm. a beautiful country it's mm -hmm. very peaceful mm -hmm. the crime rate is good like mm -hmm. uh it's it's cold mm -hmm. and you know the people there are very nice mm -hmm. i haven't had any problems to tell you though to be honest yeah so i can't complain mm -hmm. i'm being treated nice <laughs> <laughs> and, 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 and now having to to incorporate um the way you dance and from zimbabwe into a cold country <laughs> that has a whole different culture and tradition and yes. all that how is the transition like and the acceptance actually i mean for me it's not culture shock because i've been moving around countries mm -hmm. <laughs> all right. so Probably maybe the food is mm. maybe different, mm -hmm. you know, from our food. Mm -hmm. I love Zimbabwean food <laughs> much <laughs> better, <laughs> you mm. know. So I mean, uh, of course they have their own culture. Uh, mm -hmm. So most of the poor people that I've met, they are very reserved, but they're mm -hmm. very kind. They're very mm -hmm. nice people, mm -hmm. but they're reserved. They're hardworking. Maybe we. Maybe. Maybe. Yes, we don't dances. That's what we're here for. <laughs> so yeah. So then, in terms of like dancing, yeah, they love dancing over there. Mm -hmm. See, that's how I got my job. <laughs> oh, because they're like, oh, she can dance, so that's good. Yeah, and she can like, teach us. Oh, she can dance. Uh -huh. No, ah, she taught us such a tamba and stuff like that. So I mm -hmm. teach children since I was a teacher before. Mm -hmm. So yeah, that's my. my right. <laughs> and then, how is your music being um, accepted in a different country altogether, with different language as well? Well, it's very hard. I won't lie. Everywhere, it's got its own. Yeah. Know, here and there's mm -hmm. but i am advertising myself but mm -hmm. the best way is online because even mm -hmm. 40 like my local artists in mm -hmm. that's how they are known like online they do their own thing mm -hmm. online so they're the ones who encourage me like yeah just do you in online you can mm -hmm. register your stuff do your own thing whatever you know youtube just say spotify mm -hmm. and spotify is a big thing there you know mm -hmm. so so you get a lot of diverse artists there with different mm -hmm. feels and different ways of doing things. And mm -hmm. yeah, so that's how I'm just doing it myself as well. That's <laughs> awesome. All right. Interesting. Wow. Ladies and gents, one-on-one -on -one with uh, Natasha as in, they're also known as Asha is a beautiful, energetic a young lady who has uh, something quite interesting packed up in the bag <laughs> and we are doing it one-on-one -on -one, getting to know her her journey and understanding of what she is about well that's what one-on-one -on -one is about unpacking it uh, dissecting it and putting it the way it's supposed to be put and you're still with me furry just that is fj and um our time being exactly uh, 27 minutes to the hour of 12 noon yes i will be passing the baton to um uncle chew at exactly 12 but for now i'm just enjoying my Myself with this lovely lady and like I say we're here to bring in the vibe because it's a thirsty Thursday Wang just hydrate if you know what I mean hydrating means water anything that has water make sure that you drink it and down it 
and you know they say two liters a day so <laughs> don't have don't, don't go overboard there with the whiskey that's my advice there so yeah we think something up by um ash to ease and it's also you know vibey something that can also make you dance and the song are called loku what is by the song so loku 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 hmm. mm -hmm. so i actually you know i did it in a way whereby like i didn't run it yeah. i did it with camera i don't know if you know camera camera the producer in south africa yeah. he uh -huh. is he produced for Sierra and oh. chris brown he's his Zimbabwean, oh. okay. and he's doing things he's like my friend and stuff so yeah, yeah so we we're like hey let's just do something and then mm -hmm. i just started being crazy and just played the studio and then yeah. like okay and then he was like no wait i already recorded that we're, we're doing that we're taking that so yeah. because <laughs> the, the first one is usually raw and it's usually um, unfiltered yeah you don't have to like hold back yes you just went straight in so straight in i went in i was just crazy and then i'm like no i like that we're taking that and i'm like ah oh, for sure really nice <laughs> but yeah you're doing this you're doing this after <laughs> <laughs> and so, they're like yeah. we're live after yeah <laughs> Wow, wow, wow. All right. The 071 That is our WhatsApp number. And you can get in touch with us. You can just say hi to Ashta and Pa. And you can just send in your greetings and your comments, of course. And like I said, we're switching it up. This is a song by Ashta. It's called Loku. My word. <laughs> I know I can <laughs> dance, but guys. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Na loku, 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 na loku